This tutorial is intended for users who are having difficulty installing the Control Center software from previous versions of our installation CDs on newer operating systems. To begin, insert the CD-ROM that was included with your Power Commander into the CD or DVD ROM tray of your computer. If your computer is autoplay enabled, the Flash-based installation program will launch automatically. If the program does not autoplay, you can manually start the program by first selecting Start and then My Computer. Next, access the CD or DVD drive by double-clicking on the drive icon. For Windows XP users, launch the Flash installation software by double-clicking on the PowerCommander.exe file. Once launched, you will need to select the Install Software button on the top of the menu and then select the Install Software button underneath the appropriate Power Commander version you have. For Windows Vista or Windows 7, you will need to manually install the Control Center software. This is done by opening the FS Command folder and then opening the appropriate Power Commander model you are installing for, either PC3 USB or Power Commander 5. Once the Power Commander model folder is open, launch the installer by double clicking on the setup file. If you have an older Power Commander 3 USB only CD, the setup file is located in the PC3 USB folder of the, on the root of the CD, outside of the FS command folder. The second and recommended method of Power Commander software installation is from PowerCommander.com. Simply go to the Race Ready site of PowerCommander.com and choose the Downloads option. Next, choose the type of Power Commander you own and download its software at the top of the list. You will be prompted to either open or save the file. It is recommended that you save the file. A location such as your desktop will suffice. The downloaded setup file is in a zipped or compressed folder. WinZip or Windows Explorer can generally open these compressed folders. Once the WinZip folder is open, you can find the setup file inside. Double click to begin the installation. 